Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got somebody that is supposed to be on their way, Facebook of course, so I'm not gonna like hold my breath or anything, but the concrete lighthouse is supposed to be getting picked up for 35 bucks. We'll see if that goes through. Yeah, they're loading it up right now. She paid him through Venmo, so it's all done and over with. It's not here. After about 45 different people that have basically wasted my time, we finally have somebody that is on their way for the amazing, awesome 80s sate, love seat, couch, chair thing for $45. She's, she bought it. It's gone. I can delete it, man. I'm so sick of people being like, is it still available? Is it still available? Is it still available? Yeah, come get it. No, I was just wondering if it was still available. Like, oh, are you kidding me? 45 bucks. These vintage Burwood birds came from uh, Grandpa's house. Sold them on Facebook Marketplace for $18 plus the cost of shipping. I'm going to try to get these in my mailbox before the before the mail person comes. That way I don't have to worry about going to the post office. Change of plans. <laughs> this is not going to fit in my mailbox. Rich just informed me that the um, typewriter's old. Again, $125 plus shipping over on eBay. Boom. <laughs> These have been like just money the last week. We sold two of them for $125 a piece. Plus the cost of shipping over on eBay. So I'm also going to get this boxed up. And then we got to go grab boxes from our old neighbor. He saves all of his Amazon boxes and stuff. And then I think we're going to work on the bus a little bit. Headed to go get boxes from uh, our old neighbor. So <laughs> found yard sale. And the hunt continues for frames. I love when this happens. It's all free. So I'm going to dig. I will take these, however, though. I need a box. No frames, but look at this doll bed. It just needs to be put back together. Wouldn't doll create a bed thing? I can empty this and put something in it. I like the cork stops. I ended up finding some cool stuff at that little free pickup ordeal. I didn't video it all, though, because I was digging through boxes with the lady, so I'll do a little mini haul when we get home. very bright. You don't see bright colors like this often. I think maybe this one. Possibly that one. We went the wrong way, but it looks like it worked out. There's more Hello. free stuff. Mm. This one's got a crack. This one doesn't, though. Alright, there you go. You that. that one's cute. You guys did miss one sale. I was planing boards for the bus, which again, I didn't video because aren't you guys sick of watching me plane boards at this point? Because I'm sick of planing boards at this point. Uh, somebody came and picked up that stock tank that was out in the yard. So made 45 off that. It was a garbage pick. This is the stuff that we picked up, I think all at the free, like that free sale. Everything was free. <laughs> so um, we did get a whole huge thing of black velvet. This is perfect to do spider webs. And we were almost out of black fabric, so this is a huge score. Uh, I grabbed the Irish Spring with the washcloth. It's like a gift thing. I don't know. Because, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but everything's super freaking expensive, and I'm poor most of the time. I will absolutely take free soap. <laughs> so, there's that. I was thinking some sort of taxidermy in this. I have two baby raccoons in my freezer. But I did just notice this is broken. Bummer. 
I don't know if that totally matters. Maybe I'll just clip this one off. That's what I'll do. I'll just clip this one off. We'll stain that down. Boom. Good as new. Also grab these for oddities projects. I don't know what I'm going to put in them, but I'll put something in them. This doll bed is crazy. This is the platform. It's got both the side rails and the ends. Actually, I think it's a cradle. Those are slightly bent. So I do think it's a doll cradle. I don't know why, but these vintage looking tins always sell at our pop-up sales. So I grabbed this one. Oop. I'll probably stick it on our sale for like three bucks. I'm thinking this as well, just pop-up sale stuff. Not a huge deal. There's this little tiny doll house set. And I think we are, I think we have the pieces that we are missing. That I'm pretty sure is the arm that goes there. And then this is the leg that goes here. Rich said that he can fix it. So we'll give him that try. Uh, it's got the two matching little chairs. Cute little set. I grabbed both sets of these Christmas glasses. I don't see any name or anything on either set, so I'll have to do some like Google image searching. It's probably Libby. Libby does not mark their sets. And underneath we have a light bright. Classic edition. I haven't even looked to see if it's complete or anything. But the pegs themselves, without a light bright, actually sell better for me than an actual light bright. So I might just take the pegs out and sell the pegs. This was an interesting box. So a bunch of Nike Barbies. 1980, 19 something Malaysia. Are these ones with the clicky knees? Yeah, they got the clicky knees. My Barbies when I was little had the clicky knees. Um... I don't know much about vintage Barbies. That one's had a haircut, it looks like. That is not an actual Barbie, but it might be... It is Mattel. We've got some Kens. We've got two Kens. And again, I'm not sure about the dark hair. I don't know what is in this. Oh, I think I know what's in this. I'm actually really excited about these. Hold on. Welcome to my brain. I really want to do a bathroom scene with a dead bug. How freaking funny would that be? So there's like a tiny sink, a tiny little toilet, a tiny little bathtub, a super tiny little stool with a super tiny little mirror. What is this? super tiny little thing that goes on a vanity maybe I don't know I think this actually goes above the sink I want to do like a bathroom scene with like a dead beetle or a fly or something I'm not sure I think this is also more tiny bathroom things we're just gonna work on that I got two cutie dolls in the package yeah we're a new little tiny bathroom set we'll come out little tiny commode. Cubies aren't worth a ton, but I just think they're adorbs. This is also a doll with like doll clothes and things. I liked the little trunk. That is the doll. I don't know anything about it. Hmm. But it comes with clothes and a trunk. And balloons. I was like, oh my god, what can I do with balloons? So I've got, yeah, that can be thrown out. Um, I've got black balloons, and I've got colorful balloons. And me and Rich almost at the same time were like a chipmunk. So I don't know why we both think chipmunks need balloons, but we do. I'd... Crazy. I don't know. But man... It would be so cool if I could do, like, an It chipmunk from Stephen King. I would have to paint one of those red. But that, my friends, is our free haul from today, so I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm going to slowly get my life together. I got a cup of coffee in my system. I'm ready to move forward. 
sold Willie Nelson, an American icon, which is funny because when I listed it, I'm pretty sure I it like auto-corrected it to American Idol. <laughs> Could you imagine Willie Nelson on American Idol? Oh my god, it'd be epic. Anyway, sold this, which is just freaking hilarious, for $10 plus cost of shipping over on Mercari. This one is so fun. I was born in 84. Strawberry Shortcake was my jam. I loved Strawberry Shortcake. This is just killer. It is um, Anchor Hawking. White Milk Glass. Sold it on Etsy for, I'm trying to think, $16 plus the cost of shipping, but this is a piece that came from Grandpa's, so it is getting split with Rich's mom. Also an Etsy sale, Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. This is a hardcover uh, book club edition. Pretty sure I grabbed this from the last fill -a bag book sale that we went to. Sold it for $25 plus the cost of shipping. Starting to sell the belts. Um, still have some good pile of the list as well. This is Hand Painted Fenton by D. Frederick. White milk glass. I had it listed for $30 and got a $25 offer on Facebook Marketplace and considering we bought all that stuff for $20, bucks, yeah, that puts us, I mean with fees and everything we're like very slightly in profit, but in profit. So I will take it. Sold on Facebook for $25 plus shipping. Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins in hardcover. This sold on Facebook Marketplace for $5 plus the cost of shipping. I've read this one. I liked it. <laughs> I read it as an ARC before it came out and um, gave them my honest review. And I, I really liked it. I don't know. It got like mixed reviews, but we know how that goes with me. Have I mentioned how much I love blow molds? <laughs> this one just sold on Etsy for $85 plus the cost of shipping. It is an old one. I believe it's late 80s, early 90s, if I'm remembering correctly. It's kind of rare. So yeah, it's going to be really fun to box up. At least it's not fragile. We're going to hop over to our oddities Etsy really quick because we sold this one. Ugh, I wish you guys could see this better. It's mine and Rich's favorite. Maybe if I take it off of here and move it. Ooh, there you go. Now you guys can see. Isn't that freaking awesome? This sold on our oddities Etsy for $34 plus the cost of shipping. So I'm going to very, very carefully get this ready to go out. Then bouncing back to our regular Etsy, we sold this pale pink glass perfume bottle. This came from Keegan's great grandma's estate. It's very pretty. She, they had money. Uh, her husband was a Cadillac dealer for many, many years and won awards for sales and they, they, they lived, they lived quite well. Um, this sold for $25 plus the cost of shipping on our regular Etsy. Oh boy. Monday is just, yeah, I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's supposed to be 92 today. Like cheese and rice. What do you think, Beeks? You're already hot? I know me too. Um, sold this mid-century canister set on Etsy for $65 plus the cost of shipping. This is a piece I picked up at a yard sale for 10 bucks. This is a good find. 10 bucks. I've never had one before. I was a little bit jealous. My friend Missy, who actually has a channel called uh, Junk to be Loved, she's found these twice. <laughs> and I was like, come on, man. Um... Yeah, she's, she does a lot of bins shopping. And I, I don't think she found these at the bins, though. I think she found them at a flea market. Anyway, sold it for $65 plus the cost of shipping over on Etsy. It's feeling a lot like a Monday. We are working hard. Rich sold this whole stack. Uh, I told him to put them up for five bucks a piece. He did $5 each or 20 for all, and some lady snatched them up, already paid them on Venmo. So those are sold. We got $20 for the stack. They were a garbage pick. And then hopefully this works out. I have somebody on their way right now for the stained glass lamp. And I have it listed for $125. She offered me $90 with pickup. So hopefully that pans out. And while I'm out here, I have to find a vintage Detroit Pistons t-shirt. 
<laughs> it's too hot to not be able to find the thing I'm looking for. I checked all three bins on the other side, checked this bin. It's not in any of them. Or at least I should say I didn't write it down. I've a couple of times put things in bins and forgot to write it on the sheet, which means I have to go through every freaking bin to find it. You have no idea how happy I am that I don't have to ship that lamp. Like, I don't have to ship that lamp. <laughs> Sold for $90 and she just picked it up. Update, still looking for the t-shirt though. I don't know where I put it and I've looked everywhere that it should be. Oh by God. I am trying not to hold my breath, but I think that's it right there. Cause why wouldn't you throw it on top of the bookcase? Why, why do I do this to myself? Not to get all like weird and hocusy pocusy, but like, I don't know if you guys believe in spirit guides, but so many times stuff like this happens to me and I'm like, why would I even look up there? Why? Why would I even look up there for a t-shirt that should never have been there? Answer me that. Anyway, found it. It was there. On top of the bookcase, behind the beetle tank. Like, why is it there? I don't know. <laughs> I had it listed for $35, and I got a $30 offer on Facebook Marketplace. It is a vintage single stitch Detroit Pistons t-shirt. <sighs> $30 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. Lady picked up the crates and the Weber grill is pending pickup for third, no, three o'clock, 20 bucks. <laughs> it's, it's in really good condition. They must have just got one that takes the tank and ditched the one that takes the charcoal. I prefer the one that, the, the charcoal, that's all I've ever had. I don't like using natural gas to cook. I much prefer this flavor. But yeah, 20 bucks. Boom. Weber Grill is gone. $20. Another thing pending pickup. 15 bucks. We did it a little cheap because honestly, we don't really have spots to put this stuff at the moment. It's a really pretty piece. It is missing the stool, which whatever, somebody else can figure that out. They should be here soon, which is good that all this stuff is going today because, you know, we never catch a break. We went to go leave to run to the grocery store and drop off the packages at the post office and our freaking muffler fell off. Yep. Vanity was picked up, 15 bucks. Rich has the cash, but we're in the middle of doing something. And you OGs have seen our oddities projects and our taxidermy stuff. I don't show any of the gross stuff. But I know that you guys, there's a lot of newbies. We've had a lot of new subscribers lately. So if you don't want to see dead things, I completely understand. Totally understand. But we are ethical taxidermists and oddities dealers on top of being resellers. Because things are expensive and we <laughs> are a little bit, of, uh, we hustle. We hustle a little bit. So I've had things, um sitting around for a while if if this gives you any indication of ooh, I almost dropped it of what I'm working on it's a mummified failure to thrive failure to hatch baby chicken um, it's been sitting since I think before I broke my ankle it's, it's been a while so I am putting it together right now and uh, yeah if you guys don't want to see this part that's fine, just skip ahead. I gotta figure out how I want this to sit. Cause the rose is actually gonna go in it. Man, I cracked a little bit right here, but I think that's okay considering what we're doing. Here's your warning. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it. So this is kind of what I've got going on here. Failure to thrive. Baby chicken. In the rose. In the egg. I actually like the piece that <laughs> It gives it something. Um, and then it will be finished with the cloche to protect it. 
almost done. We just gotta glue a few other pieces into place. And then this goes up for sale on our oddities Etsy. I think it's cute. I know it's a dead baby chicken. I am completely aware of that. I am not completely dense, but I really like the way this turned out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask for it yet, but man, I really like the way it turned out. I totally forgot I had these fake roses in my art supplies stuff. Something I picked up at the freaking Goodwill bins. Yeah, so that's that. <laughs> well, it's not super often that I'm like, oh my god, I really hope it rains all day. Today is one of those days. Oh, it's it's now tomorrow from yesterday. <laughs> but it is raining. I don't know if you can see it in the puddle. Rain doesn't show up on camera very well. Anyway, it's supposed to be 94 degrees today. 94 degrees is when I start questioning my decision on not having air conditioning I just refuse to pay for it which is dumb because honestly our freaking electric bill has gone up every single month we just got the electric bill yesterday and it was a hundred and forty something dollars for a 600 square foot apartment because y'all are running up the freaking air conditioning uh, standards or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> the uh, averages, because everyone's running air conditioning, the averages are going up. This is why I came out here. I have somebody on their way. I had this listed for 45 and some guy offered me 30 and we settled at 35 if he could come this morning. So he's on his way right now. 30 bucks for the trunk. 35 for the trunk. Storage drawer things, these these guys. Um, I had them listed for six bucks. They're not worth a ton of money, but if you buy them brand new, add up quick. So, yeah, six bucks, porch pickup. They should be also on their way. Trunk is currently being picked up. I have to run them out of five uh, for change. While well, we're still waiting on the storage drawers to get picked up, Rich is going to start boxing things. I don't know if you remember, we picked up like a box of these car radios out of the garbage. They were moving. There is a for sale sign up in their um, yard. I don't know if these work or not. Obviously, there's no way to test them. But the thing with eBay is you can sell things specifically for parts or repair. Now, this could work. I don't know why he would have a shelf full of these things that just didn't work. That makes no sense. So I put on there untested for parts or repair that we had no way to test the, uh, this. Um, but everything cosmetically looks okay. Put the part number, all that happy jazz. From what I can tell, it's for um, a Ford, obviously, because it says Ford on the back. <laughs> um, FOMOCO G261V is the part number. And this sold four parts of repair untested on eBay for $24.95 plus the cost of shipping. And I'm kind of excited about that because I think there's at least six of these. If I get $25 a piece, that's $150 in random radios we picked up the side of the road. These also sold on Etsy. Turns out they are from Cracker Barrel. They're salt and pepper shakers. These I paid $20 for all that stuff at that um, church rummage sale. And these were in the bag. Eight bucks plus cost of shipping over on Etsy. So I'm gonna get these ready to go out. Another potential pickup today. The person doesn't get off work till like five. But uh, $35 for the Pelican. We'll see if that one goes through. It would be real nice. They are like super in profit from that auction though. So, I mean, it would be nice because we're still like $180 short to pay the rent, which today is, what is the date today? August 27th, so we still got a couple of days. Ooh, welcome to my storage nightmare. So I'm pretty sure the thing I just got asked about, oh yeah, I see it, I think it's right here. Um, 
I have to get it out of my dishwasher. Oh yeah, for those who are new to the ch channel, I don't use my dishwasher for dishwashing. I wash my dishes by hand and I use my dishwasher for storage <laughs> of things that are for sale. Problem wise is I've been listing so much lately. I, I don't have anywhere else to put things. So everything is getting to the point, my dog say hi. Everything is getting to the point where it's like, it's almost dangerous. Cheese and rice. Oh my gosh. So this is a puzzle. It's a vintage puzzle. I've got it from the bins of all places. And I put it together while I was there to make sure that the pieces were all there. And they were. So I purchased it. Um, $18. Porch pickup. We'll see if, if that pans out. Rich just brought this in. The um, storage drawers got picked up. Griffin says hi. Gnarly storm ripped through. Like 70 mile an hour winds. I don't think we got it that bad. But in the mix, the pelican did not get picked up. I forgot was the person's response. I don't know if that was the case, but the puzzle I do think got picked up. Gotta love that this bin is waterproof. I also, I sold a DVD set. That should be somewhere in this vicinity. I was hoping it was going to be like right up front. It was going to be easy, but oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Cool. Hmm. We're either going garage sale or to the strip club. I'm not sure. Uh, $18 for the puzzle picked up. All right. The Pink Panther Film Collection. Uh, this is something I found at the bins. It's a CD set. DVD set, if you will. Sold this on eBay for $10 plus the cost of shipping. Next, we got Christmas with Chet Atkins. This sold for... What, you want to say hi? Say hi? Oh my gosh, your eyeballs are crazy when I got this thing on. $20 plus the cost of shipping over on eBay. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. This is new sealed. I had it listed for 10 and ended up getting a $6 offer on Facebook Marketplace with shipping. And I took it. I don't think I have any real money into this. I'm pretty sure this is a piece I got at the lake house. And it was a like make a pile kind of thing. Um, and I can't remember if that was the day that I was paying for stuff or the day that things were free. I don't know. But VHS tapes don't normally go for that much money. So I'll take six for this plus the cost of shipping and start working on, I'm pretty sure I'm already in profit from that, but six bucks is six bucks. I'm trying to get a grip on my house. I photoed this lamp this morning and somebody already wants to come and get it for $45. So I'm going to set it out on the deck and cross my fingers because an extra 45 bucks would be real nice right now. This was a lot more popular than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Sold this Eddie Bauer. It's like a thermal. It's in really good shape. I don't know which bag I got it out of. Size medium. It sold on eBay for $12 plus the cost of shipping. Cheese and rice. Trying to keep dog hair off of everything I sell is a whole thing all in itself. <laughs> sold these CrossFit shorts. They are Reebok. I uh, had them listed for $15 and got a $12 offer over on eBay. Again, another garbage picked piece. And these are, I mean, they're in really good shape. <laughs> it's crazy to me, the things that people throw away. So anyway, 12 bucks plus shipping on eBay. This one's going to be real fun. <laughs> this was a Facebook Marketplace purchase, not a purchase, Facebook Marketplace sale. This was that Art Deco towel rack that I ended up buying at Casey's auction. And it sold over on Facebook Marketplace as is with a little bit of surface rust on the bottom for $45 plus the cost of shipping. Now we got to figure out how to box it. Also a $45 sale and a lot easier to box up. Actually, I think we bought this at the same auction as the uh, towel rack. You guys seen it work, but I'll try to insert the video. It's freaking awesome. $45 plus cost of shipping also on eBay. And for $10 plus the cost of shipping, I sold this jack-o'-lantern cup mug. We just lost power. For zero reason. It is beautiful outside. This is dumb. It's a good thing I already have a candle lit. 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I was literally just telling somebody because a couple really gnarly storms rolled through and there's been people that were out of power for like four days. I'm like, we don't lose power during a storm. We lose power when it's, I, I'm literally, t I'm telling you, there's no reason we should lose power. That sucks. It does suck. It hurts like that sucks. Oh yeah, generator. Um, sold this for 10 bucks plus cost of shipping on eBay. We're going to take a little break from reselling stuff, guys. This vlog is going to go a little left. I know you guys, I'm going to cry even talking about it, but I know you guys love Griff. He's, he's my little hall buddy. He's not doing well. I noticed yesterday, um, when I woke up, he was underneath my nightstand crying, and, um, <sighs> called our vets, called around, trying to get this cat in anywhere. It's just, it's like pulling freaking teeth. So I called his vet, our vets, we have a couple different vets that we use. Um, they're vets that I used when I ran All for Karma, so, which was an animal rescue. I know we've got new people. Um, and so the vet that has always seen Griffin and they couldn't get us in until Saturday. Today is Thursday and I'm like, okay, let me book that appointment so I don't lose it, but he needs to be seen before then. Um, I called back this morning, asked if they, you know, had any cancellations. No, no cancellations. Okay. Can you please squeeze us in? Cause he's not doing well. This could be something as simple as, like, a urinary tract infection, or it could be something a lot more serious. So I'm going to take you guys with us to the vet. we got to leave here in about 45 minutes um, for them to squeeze us in and just pray for him, because I don't know what else to do. He's... <laughs> you guys know who these guys are. They have my whole heart, and I, I can't imagine losing him. <laughs> but they, um, if it is something more serious, that is something that the vet did, you know, try to prepare me for it because of how listless he is, and he's not moving around, and he's not wrestling with Leona, he's not eating, he's not drinking, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know how serious this is. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I just, it hits a little harder today too because today is the two year anniversary of the day that somebody dumped him and his sister in the field across the street and I found him on my deck. I never sought these guys out. These guys just kind of moved in, him and his sister. Uh, Piper is also very anxious. She knows that there's something wrong with her brother, they're twins. Um... And she's just kind of following me around meowing. She know, she wants me to fix it, and I can't. So, um, yeah, I'll take you guys with us to the vet. And just, God, I hope he's going to be okay. She's very, very worried about him. He's at least meowing. I was wrong. It was that cat meowing, not Griff. He was mewing a little bit on the way here. Okay, the vet just left to go get some stuff. We kind of ran down everything. I mean, it hasn't been like a ton. It's just the fact that he's not moving. He's not eating. He's not drinking. Throwing up. He's just... You can just tell he just does not freaking feel well. It's just scaring me. And if this totally cuts off because I forgot the other battery and this one doesn't have a whole lot, I'll update you guys as best as I can later. He is 14 pounds, 15 mm -hmm. ounces. I was correct. He is not much smaller than Leona. Leona. Well, they sent us, there's not much they could do. They sent us to the emergency vet, which isn't looking great either. His prognosis is not good. I'm just waiting for them to examine him and uh, give me a call.
well, I couldn't go into it much last night. The emergency place that we went to was kind of, not standoffish, but they just, it was very, like, COVID-like still. You couldn't really go back there. I didn't see Griffin. Um, from what they told me, his potassium levels were very high. Um, he had very high levels of toxins in his system because it, he couldn't pee. Um, so it was just building up in his body, which was affecting his brain. Um, he was twitching. Uh, they gave him some pain meds, so, um, their major concern was his potassium levels were so high and his heart rate had slowed and his body temperature was down and they were afraid that he wouldn't make it through the anesthesia for the procedure that would have even been needed with a you know two-day hospital stay we were looking at close to three thousand dollars on top of the bill that we had already paid at our regular vet and we just we didn't have it we didn't have it for a situation that didn't look good anyway um even if it would have, like, gone pristine, she said there was a, a chance of recurrence, you know, within three days, a week, we don't know. So, um, we lost him. Fucking sucks. Sorry about my language, but that's, you know, the best I can put it. And because we spent almost a thousand dollars that we didn't really have, <laughs> guess what we have to do? Work. So and pepper shakers, Tupperware, these sold on Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping. I don't, oh, my coffee cup's in his way. Hold on. <laughs> he climbs my ladder, and if I leave my coffee cup in his way, he can't get up. <laughs> this is how he gets on the bed. <laughs> anyway, so and pepper shakers, Tupperware, these sold on on um. Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping, um, and they're just, you know, it is what it is. It was a little sad not being able to see Leona wrestle with her buddy this morning, and Piper slept with us all night. She's not doing great. I mean, she's, I don't think she understands. Those two were pretty bonded. Like, not pretty bonded. Those two were more bonded than any cats I've ever seen in my life. How many of these are ready to go out? We got one other thing I got to deal with. Also sold this 10-inch Flying Witch Annalie doll um, with the original tags. I bought her at a yard sale, and I think I paid a dollar, pretty sure, something like that. Anyway, I had her listed for 22 which is pretty comparable to what the others are listed for. And I got an $18 offer on Mercari, so she sold on Mercari for 20 no for 18 dollars plus the cost of shipping and on that note guys i am going to sign you off i'm just struggling the hauls for a little while are going to be rough i think for you guys just as much as me and i know you guys look forward to griffin jumping on the bed and you know go through the halls with me so see you guys